my name's Morgan from Garden Hands. Today I'm going to be planting some gladiolus, sometimes called glads, with my sister. This is my first time planting them, so I'm hoping to pick up some tips and tricks from her. We have a few more frosts left, so now is the perfect time to get them in the ground. So we do have some varieties from my grandma, who absolutely love these, and this is something I'm hoping to plant at my house. Some of the key characteristics of gladiolus is they are tall, they have sword-like leaves, they make great cut flowers, and they come in many different colors. What we're gonna be planting today, they're called corms. These are similar to what a bulb is for a tulip. Gladiolus are not a hardy flower. So if you live in a zone six or lower, you would have to dig them up like we will be doing each year. These flowers require full sun, good drainage, some great compost soil to help them help with the nutrients and they need to be held up so staked up or in our case we have a net that will be moving up. Today as we're planting these we're going to be planting them four inches deep and about four to six inches apart. We are going to be planting ours a little bit closer together due, the, due to the zone that we are in and we are going to be taking them out after the year is over. If you did live in a zone seven or higher, you may find that they will spread theirs out a little bit more because they're not gonna be replanting them year after year. The type of planting we're doing today is called succession planting, which means we're gonna be planting a portion of them now. In about two to three weeks, we're gonna plant another round, and then another two to three weeks after that, we'll plant the last round. So then they're gonna be continuously blooming throughout our summer. We have three different varieties that we're gonna be planting today. White Prosperity, Right here I have our sunset mix, and then we're gonna be planting what our grandma had, and that's just a mixture of a whole bunch of different types, and I don't have those names. A helpful hint for when you're cutting these is to cut them when the first one or two blooms are open, and then they'll bloom as you bring them in, they'll keep blooming all the way up the stem. Another helpful hint is when they are in their vase, to keep them looking fresh and vibrant, you can pluck off the dead blooms as they are expiring. So as I mentioned earlier, that we dig ours up in the fall. So after the first frost, we'll come out here, we'll dig them up, we'll do a video later in the year, obviously, to show, us, show you that process, but that is what you'll do, is after that first frost, come on out, dig them up, and get that process for storing them through the winter. So I've started loosening up the soil here. As I plant them, there's gonna be two different sides that are pretty distinctive. You have the bottom side that looks flat, and this side kinda of comes to a point. So you're gonna go flat side down, like I said, about four inches deep. So I've already started loosening up the ground so I can get it down there. And then I'm just gonna kinda of pat some dirt back down on top. planting we're gonna put the frost we're gonna water them and then put the frost cloth over them for the night all right so Morgan got done planting the sunset mix along the flower bed that's over by the horses this mess of a bed is a new one that we just started three days ago my daughter had the idea to plant a flower bed on the side of the driveway and we're gonna call it the island bed and we're just in the demolition stage right now we had to stop because it was full of poison ivy and that's not been fun. <laughs> so 
what we're going to do is plant some of grandma's glads over in this flower bed. It probably doesn't get quite as much sun as it needs, but we're thinking we'll take down this tree over here. It's old and rotted and that will help a lot. So grandma's glads, we don't know what color they are. The first year they were red, the second year they were bubblegum pink, and last year they were every color. So it'll be a fun surprise to see what happens this year. So in this bed, I'm gonna do it a little bit differently than Morgan did. I'm going to dig a few trenches and plant about 30 corms in these trenches. I'm not worried about staking over here. If they flop over, that's completely fine with me. It'll just be a nice bright pop of color as you drive up our driveway. Thanks for watching the video today. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And stay tuned for what we have coming next.